Hey guys, good morning. First off, I want to explain a little bit about last night because I kind of just left the vlog hysterical. And um, it just was a really rough day and I'm okay to talk about it. Oh, Autumn was wrong. I'm okay to talk about it today because everything's okay. But had it not been okay, I don't know what I would have done. I truly don't. It's okay, Mama. You're okay. So yesterday after I got Emmy um, from school, I came home. I was finishing up my planner. I was just about to put on a little bit of makeup for the Christmas party, get Emmy ready. It was like 3.20. I get a phone call from my grandma. Hysterical. She's like, Melissa, mom fell at work. She's hit, she hurt herself. She needs you there now. So I, I hung up and I mean, I just threw everything I was doing. I told Emmy to get her shoes on. I grabbed Autumn quicker than I've ever grabbed her, put her in the car seat, strapped them in and I took off and I literally, I mean, I just flew to go get my mom. And the only thing that I could think about was that she was lying on the ground with no one there to help her. And I, I just, I haven't been called for an emergency like that since my mom got into a car wreck when Maddie was a baby. I mean, she couldn't have been more than four or five months old. I had just dropped her off to her car. She was driving home and got into a car wreck and called me. I had just pulled in the garage and I had to turn right back around and go get her. So I was terrified and I was driving and I was probably in no condition to drive because all I kept thinking is, like I said, that she was on the floor, worse dead I mean I just I'll I don't know I was thinking the worst so when I got to her work she was actually in her car but um, I showed you the footage last night of her head um, so if you want to see it and you're I really need to get a mount but if you're not grossed out by that type of stuff then you can go check out that vlog yesterday's vlog but I mean my first reaction was just to cry. I, sh her face looked awful. I couldn't even, I mean, she looked like someone beat her up, not like she fell. So I just immediately was just hysterical and I was like, mom, are you okay? Are you dizzy? Like, of course my nurse instincts, and I'm not even an ER nurse. So it was, I can only imagine if I had been an ER nurse, I would have had like a full assessment done in a minute. But I did as much as I could um, with the short, trauma <laughs> medical knowledge that I have and so she was okay she was lucid she was conscious she didn't have any signs of like a head trauma she wasn't confused wasn't dizzy nothing so she was fine if I didn't see her she was essentially fine she got out of the car and started walking and was fine I mean my mom you guys have seen my mom she is a heavy woman and when she falls she falls hard and you know she just turned 56 so she's not that young either and she's fallen before and hurt herself really badly and that's why a lot of you guys wonder why she rides a cart when we're in the stores because she has really bad knees from falling on them I don't know if I'm gonna get through this story without Autumn continuing to cry I apologize I don't know if she's trying to get herself to sleep or what but she uh, my mom has fallen several times and hurt herself and banged herself up pretty badly but this was the worst looking that I've ever seen so I just uh, it was just pure panic so I immediately was like get in the car we need to go to the ER so I drove her to the ER I had Autumn and Emmy with me and as I was driving to the ER my brother called and he's like let's go to this ER it's closer it's smaller hopefully she'll get in quick quicker because I guess my grandma had called my brother too and I just made it there before he did so we took her to the ER they brought her in right away and I honestly was afraid with the lump on her head that they were going to have to drain the blood out of it but they didn't um, the doctor saw her right away and essentially you know he was very surprised with how bad her injury was that she was fine everything was fine her left arm had started to hurt her at this point but she other than her head and her arm she didn't really have any other injuries um, considering how hard she fell so from what she told me she tripped over like one of those curbs that you park your car up against you know one of those bumpers 
I guess she tripped down it or over it. She's not really sure and she went face first into the concrete and um, she couldn't get up. Luckily, she works right next to um, like a haircut place and two guys saw her and came over and was like, ma'am, are you okay, are you okay? And she's like, no, I am i can't get up, I need help. And so they helped her get up, which I'm so grateful for because she would not have been able to get up had they not been there to help her. And thank God it was two men because I don't think two women would have been able to brace her enough to help her get up. So anyway, that's what she says happened. She doesn't really remember how or why she didn't try and brace her fall or she's thinking maybe she did on her arm. She's not really sure. It was like one of those things. She didn't black out or anything, but it was like her adrenaline. She couldn't, she couldn't really remember. So long story short, we're at the ER. They give her a CT scan of her head and an X-ray of her arm. Her head is perfectly fine. She just has a subglial hemor um, hematoma hemorrhage in her brain, in her uh, forehead, which essentially is just a blood pocket sitting on top of her skull um, so no fractures no brain injuries no bleeding no nothing thank god because for her size of a woman to go slamming on the ground i'm really surprised she didn't do something to her head um, and then her nose was not broken which she was afraid of because she was having a hard time like it was bleeding and she was touching it and it was super swollen her face like started getting swollen here she had a bruise down her nose it was just bad bad oh my god bad and so nothing everything was fine in her head everything was superficial like the blood was going to recede and go back to where it was supposed to um the doctor said it was going to give her like two huge black eyes when it started to drain her nose was fine the swelling would go down everything was fine with that just her face looked bad she didn't chip her tooth which she thought she had chipped her tooth um so everything was fine in her left arm she fractured her uh, radius bone up by her elbow and just like a little more than a hairline fracture and she hairline fracture in her left pinky so they splinted her left pinky with her ring finger and they have her arm in a sling um, for the fracture in her elbow because there's nothing there it's neither one of them are operable so thank goodness that they can just heal on their own I talked to her of course last night I just I was hysterical like that is the scariest thing and you know normally a fall for most people wouldn't be a huge deal but for my mom being her size and, and just being clumsy in general is very it could be very detrimental I mean she thank you Lord she is very blessed to just be okay with very minimal injuries because she could have severely hurt herself and I just couldn't even vlog last night like eventually we got to not not making fun of it but kind of joking around with like god mom you gotta walk with the cane you know we just she was okay so we were okay but it could have very easily not been okay and I just couldn't even deal and then I left my camera in her car when I was vlogging and boohooing at Walgreens and so it was just a long night and a, and a big mess. And needless to say, we didn't go to the Christmas party because that is not even important. I mean, a party is not important when your loved one, especially my mother, needed us. So I apologize that I was, I just kind of left you guys. I tried to explain, you know, in the slide that I would, everything was okay, you know, just to keep praying for us and stuff. But there's the actual story so now she's at home she's gonna be off from work for a few days I already talked to her this morning everyone's kind of taking shifts to bring her food and to make sure she's okay she's got pain meds um, and she should she should be perfectly fine she made it through the night with no you know concussion symptoms or anything so I think she'll be fine she just uh, needs to rest up because her body's really hurting her so I thank you guys in advance for all the prayers and thoughts and concerns and everything it really means a lot to me um, and I appreciate you guys understanding why the vlog kind of ended yesterday the way that it did um, just because it was a bad day <laughs> bad day so anywho it could have been a lot worse though which is what I keep kind of riding myself on that it could have been worse it could have been worse you know everything's okay so anywho enough of that after I talked for 10 minutes I am headed to the post office to drop off my Etsy orders 
I work tomorrow, OMG. Actually, by the time you guys are seeing this, I will be working. Wish me luck on that. I am not looking forward to it, honestly, I'm not. I feel like night shift is going to kill me, but what are you gonna do? So, I'm headed to the post office. I got my orders out before I actually had to go to work. And then I'm going to Target. I was going to go to like Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, and all these different places. And then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I can find everything I need at Target. I may pay a little more for it overall, but I am not. It's cold outside, it's like 50 degrees, it's muggy weather, it's chaotic. I am not going to sit there and worry myself about saving a few pennies when I just need to get in and out. It's already noon, I need to grab a coffee because I have a long day. Emmy has a Girl Scout Christmas party tonight that we'll be going to and I need to get a few little gifts for that, some treats, and I need to grab a stocking for the house. I just have a bunch of stuff to do, so Target is going to be my main run for the day. So I just checked my P.O. box and you guys, I feel like crying. I got Christmas cards. I, you know, I guess I didn't even think I don't know what I was thinking. Christmas is in nine days. I didn't even, I didn't even think about Christmas cards, but I got some from you guys and I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Danielle from Florida, be sure and um, check your mail. I will be sending you a card back. Roya from California, Nicole from Ohio, Joanna from Indiana, um, the I, I always see your comments. I think your first name's Karen from Nevada. I'm just so Thank you guys. Thank you. I never expect anything I always leave my PO box down below for things like this Like if you want to mail me a letter a card anything like that I always have it listed down below and I appreciate so so much when you guys send me things I read everything I try and write back to everybody sometimes it's not as easy as you would think. Don't mind Adam, she's having her own meltdown over there. But Christmas time is my favorite time of year to get you guys' stuff. Like, I have cards from last year that I have up on my bulletin board and I will continue to add. I love, love, love it. And I will mail you guys back Christmas cards. Makes me so happy, so thank you. Hi, my beautiful. Adam. Hi. Hi, who's so pretty? Hi. Are we at Target? Yes, we're getting Starbucks. Huh? Yeah, we're getting Starbucks. Yeah. That makes every girl happy. Why aren't you smiling? Why aren't you smiling? Huh? Why aren't you smiling for the Starbucks? I'm in the gift section looking for like some chocolates to go with Emmy's teacher's gift card and I got one of those little cubes right there filled with Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Um, but I'm kind of like, this is almost the same price and look at how much this comes with. How many is in here? There's like 60 chocolates in here for literally almost the same price. And then there's this one too. So I don't know. Look at my cute outfit. Look at my cute outfit. You staring at the light? Huh? Now you staring at the camera? You need a burp for mommy, okay? We're in the middle of Target grocery shopping and somebody had to eat. They couldn't wait, huh? I'm in the chip aisle trying to figure out what I want to bring for tonight's Christmas party. <clears throat> she just said in the email, like, bring a little snack for everyone to share. So I was thinking about bringing chips and dip. That seems pretty shareable and easy to transport. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to bring. I got the teachers their gifts. I got some Tim Tams so I could try them. And then I got each of the girls a pack of snowman peeps. Um, 
just because they are a dollar a pack and they're super cute to go in their stocking tonight for the Christmas party. I figured they all probably have enough toys. And what's another junky item for their stocking? Everyone's staring at me. They're probably like, who is this lady talking to the popcorn? What's wrong with her? Still at Target and my face looks super shiny and it's because I used one of those masks that I got from Steph for my birthday. <clears throat> it was a Sephora mask and it had something for acne and it was a serum and it said leave it on 15 minutes and then just rub in the product. Good morning, try to get. This uh, is what happened. So I'm in the plus size section and look. Do you all remember this jacket from last year? Also, we have they have it again and it is originally $45 and I got it for some person off last year, I don't remember. But it ha it's the exact same jacket. And I'll do a small haul when I get home. I haven't bought a ton of stuff, but I'm kind of just looking at... I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like look at these maternity shorts. They're short, but they have the panels. The ones that I bought, oh, I bought these ones. And I actually really like them in a double XL with the full panel. So I know it's winter, but these are only seven bucks. And not that I'm buying them for maternity, but they're short and they have a stretchy panel. So, hmm, maybe I could rock them for the summertime. Talked to my mom several times and I just, I overall feel awful for her. I mean, she's healing, like it's starting to get better. She's starting to bruise, but the bump on her forehead's going away. She just, I think is, you know, feeling sorry for herself today. So I think I'm gonna bring her over a little treat to try and cheer her up. And also because her arm's fractured, she can't hold Autumn. So that makes her super sad, so. I think I'm gonna try and, I don't know, get a little something for her because I just hate to see her like this. I hate it. I have some time to kill, so I'm trying on clothes. This is the Ava and Viv line in a 3X, and it's actually super baggy up here, which I don't mind, but it's tight around the hip area, so it, like, no. No. I'm so dumb. I did self checkout at Target because I thought it would be quicker. Because, you know, I'm a pretty good scanner. Like, I was ever a cashier in another lifetime. Never have been, in case you didn't catch that sarcasm. And so it took me like twice as long. <laughs> I feel like I truly thought it was going to be quicker, but it genuinely took me twice as long to get through the line. And the poor lady was like, Are you okay? Do you need help? I'm like, I got it. I got it. So now I have about seven minutes to get over to Emmy's school and pick her up without her being in um, the late line pickup. After spending like, I feel like two hours, two and a half hours at Target, and I walked around to kill time so I could go pick her up from school, I ended up being late. What the heck's that about? I got her. <laughs> it was like a minute late, but I got her. So I was showing her what I got the her two teachers, her teacher and her, the student teacher that's been with her since the beginning of the year. 14, 16, 18. Yeah. So I ended up going with the box Ferrara Rocheros, Rocheros, whatever they're called. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the hazelnut. They're good. Don't get me wrong. I can eat them. Ferrara Rocher. Um, so I ended up going with that with um, Starbucks gift cards. Emmy oh, wants to give them a little me. sanitizer. I know I got these at, I wish I'd seen these the other day instead of just the teal ones. I got the teal ones from Target the other day. They had these today, little polar bear, polar bear, polar bear for the same price, a dollar and kitties. So I got her two more pairs and then the clothes that I got myself, I'm going to show you guys later. I got this hat for Maddie because it was super cute. Oh, and that other hat ended up fitting Emmy, the one that I showed in a baby and clothing haul. Mm -hmm. But I got this that I thought was cute from the dollar section. Mm -hmm. It was just three bucks. And then I picked up two of these. Um, oh, like I said, I'm going to show the clothes in a try-on haul. Um, but I picked up these for Autumn because Bia got this set for her for her newborn set when she was in the hospital in newborn and I kept it and I absolutely love this because it's 
I, it's not roses. I actually thought it was roses. It's just flowers of some sort. I don't know what those are. But, um, what? Oh, yeah, I got, I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> um, these are just from Carter's. They were $8.99, so I picked them up in the nine months, which they're short sleeve, so nine months uh, will be June, which I know seems ridiculous, but to be honest, it'll be here before you know it. And then I also picked it up in 18 months, just in case they don't make this print anymore, and it comes with the floral one, the pink one, and then the uh, leopard. So... I had to have them just in case they didn't sell them and then like I said they um, had Tim Tams I've never tried these before I got the classic dark I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not but I'm the rest can eat them and then I got these Dove chocolates because they were on sale to go with Christmas and I got the three flavor assortment milk chocolate dark chocolate and then the chocolate with caramel two things of gum cinnamon and bubble mint and then for tonight I got Emmy uh, chips I got the little small round chips with queso dip and spinach dip <laughs> and then um, that's for like all the girls I also got um, what is it called punch so I'm doing fruit punch orange juice and might as well turn the camera around fruit punch orange juice and ginger ale mixed together for a Christmas punch for the girls and then I also got peeps the snowman peeps. peeps that I showed you guys at Target to put in their stockings like as Emmy's gift to them. I figured why, like, why get another little dollar thing when I could actually get them something that I know they'll enjoy and it'll get eaten up instead of just tossed away. So that's what I got from Target. So it took me two and a half hours to buy. So we're just waiting for Andres to go get Maddie and then we're going to head out to Girl Scouts. Uh, guess what's on TV? Hannah Montana. OMG, this, I mean, like, you can tell is an old show because, I mean, it's just not even in HD or anything. Like, the picture's all fuzzy, and I'm like, what is this, circa 95? <laughs> um, it's just been a long time since I've seen this show, and I used to love it, but it's been a very long time. My, how they have grown up. I'm editing yesterday's vlog because I'm sure we won't be home till 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. And I hate coming home late and having to import footage, edit, export footage, upload, and it, it's just a process. And at night, I really enjoy spending time with Andres, just catching up on our shows, having a snack together, whatever, which we don't get to do, especially since during the holidays is really rough. He works a lot. So... Because of that, I enjoy <laughs> spending time with him. So I thought, well, I'm home. Might as well edit. So I went ahead and edited. And the vlog, my, oh my gosh, my mom. I'm, for those of you that are queasy, don't like watching it, I apologize. But I had to put that footage in there so that you guys could understand how severe it was. I mean, it looked really bad. But uh, I'm glad she's doing so much better. And I say that pain-wise. Her face actually looks awful, just like yesterday. But... She's one day at a time is getting better. Adam! Adam! Boo. She's been making these noises lately like boo! Boo! Gee! Ah! That wasn't me. Autumn was pooping and Emmy asked if she could hold her. I said, she's got poop in there. She's like, I don't care. I'll do anything to hold her. Sacrifices you make for your sister. Mm -hmm. Love you, Mama. Love you, sissy. Oh, was that wet? It's birdie. Like, uh, 
Finally back home. That was a very fun party. Super fun. It ran later than I thought it was going to, but it was so nice hanging out. That's the one thing I liked about. Night night, baby. Wanna say goodnight? Good night. Good night. Good night. Let me put her to bed. Hold on. Okay. So um, yeah, it was just it was a really fun party. It was nice to be able to hang out. That's the one thing I like about Girl Scouts is there's 18 girls in the troop, which makes 18 moms, and so there's lots of new people for me to get to know as well as Emmy. And of course, not all the girls are going to get along and become besties and stuff, but I mean, my childhood best friend, I met her in Girl Scouts, and her mom and my mom were friends for a very long time, and it's just really nice to know. I mean, my childhood best friend I still talk to. We exchanged gifts for our daughter's bat uh, baby showers and stuff so it's just really nice to <clears throat> have those bonds and relationships with people and for me as a mom to get to know other moms especially ones that maybe at some point I may not be able to go to every event and like I want to get to know them so I can trust my daughter going with them and stuff like that so it was really fun there was a lot of food <laughs> like I didn't even need to bring chips and dip there was a lot of food and desserts and just all kinds of stuff and the girls had a blast so we got home late needless to say but tomorrow's the last day of school before break so they'll be fine um i got to go in and say good night to maddie poor thing i promised her i'd bring her back a surprise and i brought her home some chocolate covered pretzels and i didn't even get to give them to her because she was already in bed so i woke up and told her she could have them tomorrow and then I also kind of blew a kiss to Autumn. So now I'm going to go downstairs and enjoy spending some time with my candy bunny and savor my last night at home before I go back to work. I mean, I'm being dramatic. I work tomorrow night and then not till next Wednesday. And then I'm off until New Year's. So <laughs> it's not like I can really sit here and complain or anything. But I mean, the fact of the matter is, is I work tomorrow. What are you going to do, you know? So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to spend some time with my Hanny Benny. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.